So we talked about minerals and the different amendments that you can use to um, get those minerals into your garden. And I just wanted to show you how I mix my minerals and how I apply them to the garden. So later we'll go out in the garden, I'll show you how. And um, as you can see here, I went ahead and measured out each of the minerals uh, and each of the amendments that I'm going to put into my blend. And these are just the ones I was able to get access to here because it does seem hard to find all these in the right amounts uh, because I have a small garden and most of them come in large bags, but I was able to get most of what I need and I just adjusted my ratios accordingly. So I have some kelp and sea salt right here uh, for trace elements and different types of um, different hormones and stuff that the, the seaweed provides. And then I have some gypsum. I have, uh, this is some gypsum with my garden lime. This is the rest of the garden lime. This is my rock phosphate. I have some cricket grass here, some Riemann Scotland rock dust, and I have some compost, and I have some potash. So what I'm gonna do is I got this, uh, this bag, which has a nice seal inside, so I don't have to worry about it if any holes happen. Uh, they're less likely to happen, so I'm just gonna put it all into here. And I'm gonna kind of mix and match as I go so that it makes mixing it easier, it's more distributed, and then at the end, I'll just shake it up, and that's it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. I'll start with some compost. So this is just, you know, like I said before, this is carbon, it helps buffer the minerals. of this rock dust in there. Also, if you're sensitive, you might want to wear a mask or some gloves, depending on um, how you're handling the materials. And It's just good to wear a mask or goggles or gloves or do this outside. Me, um, most of my stuff's already measured and I'm keeping it away from my face. So it's just some things you might want to keep in mind. And then I'll take some cricket grass, great minerals and all kinds of nutrients in there. And then I'll put some potash. And then I have some garden lime. And then I'll put some of the rock phosphate in. And I'll put some gypsum. And then I'll put the sea salt and the kelp meal. I'll just go into all of that. Then I'll go back around. Of the lime and just drip some. Rock phosphate. And some gypsum. And then we'll go ahead and put this right there. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit more compost in there. And that's everything in the bag. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal it. Make sure it's sealed very well. And then I'm just going to shake it a little bit. bucket or wheelbarrow and use a shovel or some hand trowels to go ahead and mix it up well. 
Um, me, I'm doing it in my apartment, so I wanted to keep it a little bit neater. But what I might do is when I go out to the garden, I might go ahead and take my hand trowel, put some into a bucket, or go ahead and like mix it in the bag. But this is just to get it all together, slightly mixed, to the garden. And I'll go ahead and make sure it's uh, evenly distributed before I go ahead and apply it. So let's go ahead and uh, head out to the garden and uh, see how to apply it. This is going to be for my spring top dressing. So I've already put the minerals in my garden. This is just to kind of top it off for the season. garden and I'm going to show you how I apply my spring top dressing and then I'm going to apply some compost over top of it. So uh, what I did was I went ahead and mixed up the bag some, some more and I have my trowel and I'm just going to mix it up just a little bit more. Just to make sure everything is, is even. good so um, I'm just gonna do this section of the garden to show you and this is a top dressing like I said so it's gonna start very windy but it's fine keep your hands close to the, to the ground just a little sprinkle because when I built this bed I went ahead and um, layered in the uh, minerals and compost into the soil as well so I'm really just doing this. Uh, the bed has sat over the winter, so I'm uh, just giving it a little boost for the spring planting, and uh, that way there's fresh minerals as well as the ones that are already incorporated. So that's that's it there. I might just, you know, get it into the the surface a little bit. The idea is when you build your garden, uh, if you have to disturb the soil, try to only do it initially when you build it and then try to set up your garden where you don't have to step on it because uh, really we don't want to disturb the microbiology once once we have it um, together and we want to keep the carbon in the soil. I just massage it in a little bit. I like to just give a little bit of love to it and get it incorporated. So that's my minerals. And then I have my compost here. Because I want to make sure that you know all of my mulch and stuff from the fall that I put on it's kind of been incorporated and broken down so I just want to make sure that I keep my soil covered at all times well as much as possible really so I'm just gonna even this out and then the compost also just helps um, add some more microbes to the soil and which is great because um, it'll help digest some of these minerals and make them super available once the plants start growing. I just like to make sure it's evenly covered. Seal it in. The dark color of the mulch is also helpful to warm up my soil uh, faster in the spring so I can go ahead and get out here and get some stuff in the, in the ground. do my top dressing for the spring garden. Uh, you saw I added the minerals that we had pre-mixed. We worked it in a little bit just to get it integrated and so that the wind doesn't blow it away. And then we uh, applied a top dressing of compost as well to make sure that we're continuously trying to keep our soil covered. It adds a dark color. That way we can warm up our soil. And now I'll just let this sit. And as it warms up outside, It'll be time, it'll be, the garden will be completely ready for me to go ahead and start planting either my transplants or my direct seeds. So, good luck with your garden and I hope that this video inspired you and uh, I'll see you next time.